We are go for liftoff in T minus 30. Roger that, Houston. All systems five by five. Ready for liftoff? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Liftoff! We're Bounce Patrol. Astronauts, we travel the galaxy. Flying through outer space is where we love to be. We float inside our rocket ship. Hi everyone and welcome to Planet Art. How is everyone? I'm so pleased to see you. Thank you for joining. Now today we're going to make a little creature that you can find in your gardens or in the woods. It's a little tiny squishy creature. It's green and it's really lovely to watch because look this is what they do. This is how they move. What do you think it could be? What do you think we might be making today? Yes, exactly, a caterpillar. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? They're so cute, aren't they? Look, here's mine. I made this one earlier to show you. What do you think? Do you like it? I tried to make it really nice and colourful. And I think you can already see what sort of things we used. What did we use to make the body? Yes, we used new rolls, didn't we? Or kitchen rolls or any rolls like that. Or you could even roll up some paper. So look, we've got googly eyes and we've got pipe cleaners. And I used some, some beads, but you don't have to do that. This is just an idea. I even put some, some shiny sequins on because I love sequins. And I wanted to make a really nice, shiny, beautiful, bright caterpillar. And I'm sure you want to make yours lovely and bright and joyful as well don't you i wonder if you've seen some caterpillars in your garden i looked this morning i went into my garden see if i can find you one to show but i couldn't so maybe you can find one and then you can send me photos later of your caterpillar the one that you made and maybe ones that you found in the garden or in the woods i'd love to see them so make sure you ask your grown-up to send some photos okay and we'll show them in our gallery right now what do we need so we already said i put mine here just so we can see we already said we needed some loo rolls or kitchen rolls ideally about six so but if you have more or less it doesn't matter and then um i've got my colored pens here we need some of those also like most lessons our scissors glue some string or wool or ribbon something like that or you could have runny glue as well as long as you've got some sort of glue and we've got a few bits like i've got googly eyes and i've got sequins to make my caterpillar look nice even buttons use whatever you like pom-poms might be nice now that would be really nice if you have got some pom-poms maybe you want to go and get them and i've got some shiny sequins as well so we need a few bits of scrap paper, doesn't matter. So I've got different colours, just some paper that you can cut things out of. And also what else we need is a straw. So here's my straw, okay? And it would be really good if you also have a pipe cleaner. So all those things, but we did send you the list before, so I'm sure you've got it all set up, haven't you? Oh, and some paint as well. I've got my paint. Look, I made myself a new paint palette out of a recycled cardboard box. What do you think of that? I was quite pleased with that. Because at Planet Art, we do want to recycle and reuse as much as we can, don't we? Yes. So, now let's get started. Have a stretch. Oh, make sure you're ready for some cutting and some sticking. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle them like a caterpillar. Wiggle, wiggle. Give them a little shake. Oh, arms to the front, up and to the side. Are you ready? Show me two thumbs up if you're ready. Brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Now, first thing we have to do, find our loo rolls and chop them in half. So you can just give them a squeeze because they will pop back into shape later. So that's fine. So just, just think where the middle might be. And we could fold them if you really wanted to, but there's actually no need to. You can all sort of see where the middle might be, aren't you? So mine is here, 
my first one see so you just chop them all in half and then we'll put them in a pile so i'm going for six glue rolls but if you have more or less that's fine too it doesn't matter yeah there we are three now did you know that caterpillars are insects they have six normal legs like all insects have and then they've got up to five pairs of these stumpy little ones if you look at them close up you'll see but they are insects and the only job they've got is to eat as much as they can that's their only job gosh imagine that what funny life that must be all they do is eat munch munch are you chopping your loo rolls yeah, i'm doing mine so i've chopped six in half now here comes the prize question how many bits do i have now shall we count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there we are twelve bits brilliant six loo rolls make twelve halves who knew you did didn't you because you're so clever now what do we do next next thing pick up one of your little bits and what we have to do we have to snip let me show you snip a little triangle so snip and snip so that you get a hole like this can you see that just snip the triangle so i folded it flat and i went snip one snip in there like this and then snip so it does look can you see it looks like a triangle the little bit that comes out of it it's a little triangle see that so that's what we do can we all do that and then we pop it open again so then it looks like this because we have to thread through the holes later so can we do that to all our little bits snip and snip there. if you're not sure you can also pause the video can't you and go back to it or quickly ask your grown-up to help you a little bit snip snip see that's the triangle let me hold it there in front of my hand and you can see it a bit better and then on the other side snip snip lots of little triangles so what comes out are lots of little triangles that we'll have on the table snip snip and while i'm doing this i'm already thinking what colors i might use to paint my caterpillar hmm. we want it to be really nice and colorful don't we what color are real caterpillars in the garden or in the woods they all colorful like mine like this one here not really are they now that would be fun if they were all the colors under the sun if they were all rainbow colors but they're just what color are they mainly yes you're right they're green and some of them are brown but they're really nice and fuzzy aren't they they just look super soft never stroked one have you oh, i imagine they feel really nice and soft like your little cheekies now see this is what they look like so i've got one two three four five and six i've got six of in fact seven so i have to keep going don't i keep cutting everybody you're doing a great job you get too tired you can stop because you can make a short caterpillar or a long one whichever you want to doesn't matter it's your work 
and don't forget to send me the photos of your creations. I would love to see all of your caterpillars. And then next time, we put them up on our show gallery. And then everyone can see each other's caterpillars. How clever is that? Brilliant, isn't it? There, snippity snip. So actually, this might do for now. I think mine is long enough. So I'm going to stop. And you probably want to stop now as well. And let me think. One of these rolls, we only have to cut in one triangle, okay? You know how all of them have two cuts, haven't they? So we can thread, let me show you. We can thread through like this and string them all up together. But the last one only needs one one hole because that's going to be the head let me show you let me cut one triangle in here snip just one and then i come through with my straw and as you see then that will be the head okay so that's our head put that to the side and now we've got all our bits together in one pile with two holes haven't we so let's get our our straw and we have to cut that sort of like this, sort of in half. Doesn't really matter, but I'm going for half. So let's cut it in half. Then we have to find our string. What do we have to do next? Mm, you know, don't you? We have to put the string through the hole. We're threading it in. Oh, and I'll drop mine. So in it goes, it's a bit fiddly, but luckily we're so good at fiddly things. We pull it out the other side, and we pull it quite a bit so that it sort of folds over like this. Just let it hang. It looks a bit like a fishing rod, doesn't it? So make sure it hangs over like this. And then for your string, now mine is in a great big lump. Look, I'm sure yours is much more neat than mine. We sort of want this much, so maybe, I know, if you hold the straw at the top and then maybe hold the string, measure it all along your elbow. This is your elbow, isn't it? So maybe make it this long. And then, what do we do? We snip it off. Actually, no, we don't snip it off. We measure it again because I was just thinking, looking at mine over here, I've got a long bit at the end so that we can pull it. So that's what we'll do. Okay. Hold your, hold your st um, straw with your string through and then measure all the way to your elbow. Pinch it here where your elbow ends and then watch what I'm doing. You still pinch the string, you pinch it, keep pinching it. And then all the way so you've got two two lengths of it can you see that and then we snip it here at the top it doesn't exactly matter we just don't want the string to be too short now we've got a decent long piece of string haven't we probably nearly as tall as you are right then in we go into the first hole threading it through in it goes there whoops and out it comes the other Side. Isn't it clever? Your straw has turned into a sewing needle. How clever is that? So you pull it all the way. Tell me when to stop. Pull, 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 pull. Ooh, a little knot. Pull, 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 pull. All the way. Ooh, what do I have to do now? I think, look, I think I should stop any minute now because otherwise what's going to happen? Let me just show you. Ah, pulling the string through. We don't want that, do we? No. So that was just to show you, but you won't do that, will you? So in I go again, pull it through the hole, pull, 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 Oh, I have got a little knot in there, pull, and then, oh, goodness me, nearly happened again. So then the last bit, I'm just going to hold that and put a bit of sellotape on the end. If you have sellotape, that would be great to do, or any other tape. If not, what else could you do? You could either ask a grown-up to do a knot in the end for you, a knot here, or you could get a pipe cleaner if you've got one 
cut a little piece off, snip, just like that, only about as long as your finger. And you could do this. You could just make a little loop with the string, put your pipe cleaner through, and then fold the pipe cleaner up so it looks like this, and then you just twist it. Twist, twist, twist. So then it's like that. Then it can't get through, it can't fit through either. It's just so that you now can string all the little tubes on without them coming out. You see what I mean? We string it on. Let me show you here. See, I've done the same here with a bit of with a bit of a pipe cleaner in the end, just to hold it in in place. And then we can string them all up now. Our little rolls, can't we? Our tubes. Right, one. It's quite clever, isn't it? How we've turned a straw into a knitting needle. Well, it's not a knitting needle, um, a sewing needle. Wonder how many of you have ever sewed before. It's not something I'm good at, I tell you. There, whee! Getting longer. Quite enjoying this, are you? Nice, isn't it? So, we're making quite a long caterpillar, aren't we? There. And two more. How are you getting on, everybody? Tell me how many little tubes you've already strung on. Hold yours up. Oh, wonderful. Excellent. Great job, everyone. Brilliant. There we are. And then my last one with only one hole is this one. It's going to be the head. There. And because it's only got one hole, um, what we'll have to do, we'll have to, we've got the last bit. Actually, I'm thinking now, I think we might have to put another hole in to get the string up because then look, oh yeah, here's, then we can do this, then we can pull it, can't we? We want to be able to pull it, don't we? So yes, let's just put another one in a little one. Try and do a teeny weeny triangle if you can at the front, teeny weeny triangle. There, see, that's a teeny weeny one. So we're just poking that through. So if you're straw has already come out like mine has it's all right because you can just pop your string back through oh it is fiddly isn't it luckily you're so good there and then just do the last bit just fiddle that through pull it out Whoop. and then we've got our caterpillar haven't we and also we've got enough string left to pull him at the end so i might just make a loop in here some of you might already be able to do this do a bunny ear lay it round and fill it through again but if you can't don't worry you can always ask your adult later there perfect now does that look like a fun caterpillar yet no, it doesn't, does it? What do we need to do? We have to paint it, don't we? Let's get now. I'm going to pull up my sleeves. I hope you've all got your aprons on. I've got mine. I made quite a mess of things last time. I've learned my lesson. I'm going to pull up my sleeves, right? Got my paintbrush. Paintbrush. Got my pot of water here. And my paints in my very nice paint palette that I'm very pleased with. Wonder where you've got your paints, if you've got little pots or maybe a little tray with little holes in to put your paints, or you can maybe have watercolours and they come in a little palette, don't they? Right. So let's get painting. I'm going to do my first bit. I'm going to paint the head first, and I'm doing the head in quite a light colour, in yellow. 
because I want to stick the eyes on later and the smile, don't we? So I do this in yellow. I wonder what colors you're using. You might want to do your whole caterpillar in just one color. I mean, that's fine too, isn't it? That's the nice thing. You can do whatever you like because you are the artists. That's the good thing. Now, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to not use too much paint because obviously we want it to dry quite quickly. So I've got my water here and what I've actually got is an old cloth like this that I don't need in the kitchen anymore, an old tea towel. And I just dab my brush on there so it's not too wet for my next paint. So I've got yellow. I wonder which color I'm going for next. Hmm. I think this one. Purple. How about you? What's everybody using? Gosh, I can't wait to see all your caterpillars. I bet they look amazing. There. There we are. Purple. I'm cleaning my brush. You might have a different brush for every color. So then you don't have to do this. There. Then I'm using orange. Oop. And I do like to wipe my brush at the side so that I don't have too much paint. Orange. Do you know what the first thing is that caterpillars eat? Is their little eggshell. How funny is that? I wonder what that tastes of. They are so hungry, they just eat the first thing they see, and that's their eggshell. Cute, isn't it? There. And then I might go for turquoise next. There, turquoise. There. Do you know what caterpillars eat? What do they mainly eat? Exactly, they eat leaves, don't they? And they sit on branches and they nibble those and they sit on moss and everywhere. They just like green things, don't they? Probably that's why they're green there. But who likes to eat? Who likes to eat them? Who likes to eat the caterpillars? Who do you think flies around our gardens and then spots them and comes down and goes peck, peck, peck? The birds. The birds like eating caterpillars, don't they? This here's pink. Ooh. Dribbly pink. There. I think this is coming along nicely. It's definitely looking better already, isn't it? Let me just put this, I'll just put this one back here so you can see. I sort of did a, a rainbow one. Oh, there. See? So, so far I've got these colours. There. What's yours looking like? Beautiful, I bet. So I haven't had green yet, so I'm going for green. I actually made mine quite long, but that's okay. There. So I'm trying to spread out all my paint as much as I can so that I don't have to wait too long for it to dry. So maybe you can do that too. So, next I'm going for purple, purple or lavender, sort of like a lavender colour. Paint, paint, paint. Do you know what else? Caterpillars don't have any teeth. They've just got those hard bits that they chomp the leaves with. It's a bit like the bits that you might sometimes have in your in your hands here, like when you cycle a lot or something, have hard bits here. It's a bit like that. You go chomp, chomp, chomp like that. 
Okay, then we've got, I'm going for turquoise again. Got three more to do. Three more rolls to colour in. How about you? There. It's going to be so nice, isn't it, when it's finished? There. Maybe you can put your caterpillars in the garden when you're finished and take photos of them on the grass. I might do that with mine and then put it into our gallery and then we can see each other's. Be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, I've got one more. Just one more and I imagine you're the same. I'm sure you're all nearly finished as well. So just one more and my last one is going to be purple. There. Purple. Woo! Dribbly purple. Forgot to wipe my brush, didn't I? Did you see? <laughs> there. This is beautiful. Are you as messy as I am? <laughs> Look at my hands. Doesn't matter, does it? Making a mess is fun. There. Right. Here we are. That's mine done. Just going to wipe my hands. See, this is why it's actually really good to have an old tea towel because then you can just use it as your cloth throughout the lesson. And I think that's quite helpful. There. Use one of these as well. All right. How is everybody doing? Give me two thumbs up if you've finished your painting. Excellent. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. Now, what we have to do now, let's put it to dry. Hopefully, it'll dry quite quickly now. While we're waiting, I thought we could read a book about a caterpillar. And I have a feeling you might all know this next story. Have a think. What would be a good book, a good story to read about the caterpillar today? Who knows any stories about a caterpillar? I have a funny feeling we all do. We do, don't we? After three, shout out what the book is called. One, two, three. Yes, exactly. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Let's read that. It's one of my favourite books ever. It's just so nice, isn't it? Look, he's so cute. Right, let's find out. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There's the moon. And there's a the little egg on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look around for some food. Can you all look around for some food? Very good. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges. But he was still hungry. Goodness me. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, whoops, one pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese, 
a slice of salami, <gasps> one lollipop, a piece of juicy cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Yum! That night he had a stomach ache. Oh, my tummy hurts. Can you all touch your tummy and say, oh, my tummy hurts. Very good acting there. The next day was Sunday again and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. Oh. Don't want to give the ending away. <laughs> now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat, huge caterpillar. Look at him. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. And he really is beautiful, isn't he? So nice. Good listening, everybody. Well done. I'm sure most of you have that book, don't you? Brilliant. Now, how's your caterpillar coming along? I might just give it a little bit of a dab with some paper. Mine's drying quite quickly. How about yours? So it's actually quite good. Just give it a bit of a dab to make it dry a bit more. Do you know a song about a caterpillar? Does anybody know a song about caterpillars? Put your hands up. Oh, I can see lots of you. How does it go? Get your hands out. Get your caterpillars. There's a tiny caterpillar on a leaf. Wriggle, wriggle. Tiny caterpillar on a leaf. Wriggle, wriggle. There's a tiny caterpillar. Tiny caterpillar. Tiny caterpillar on a leaf. Wriggle, wriggle. He will eat the leaves around him till he's full. Munch, munch. He will eat the leaves around him till he's full. Munch, munch. He will eat the leaves around him. Eat the leaves around him. Eat the leaves around him till he's full. Munch, munch. A cocoon is what he's spinning for his home. Spin, spin. A cocoon is what he's spinning for his home. Spin, spin. A cocoon is what he's spinning. Cocoon is what he's spinning. Cocoon is what he's spinning for his home. Spin, spin. Then he'll be a butterfly and fly away. Fly, fly. Then he'll be a butterfly and fly away. Fly, fly. Then he'll be a butterfly. Be a butterfly. Be a butterfly and fly away. Fly, fly. Yay. Well done. Good singing, everyone. Did you all know that song? Ah, some of you did and some didn't, it seems like. Very good. Now, I think we can get on with our caterpillar. Shall we do his head first? So find his head. And what we have to do there, we have to get his little antennae in, haven't we? His little bits here. Feelers. There we are, his feelers. There they are. Look, I decorated mine. So, get your scissors. Hold up the head and then in the top, again, like we did earlier, you're good at this now. Just do one snip. Actually, two snips. So one. Oh, oh, one. Just cut into it. So we're not doing a triangle this time. You just sort of snip into it. And then again, snip. So that you've got two in his head. You've got two snips, one here and one here. A bit hard to see. Let me show you. Let me get my 
um, pipe cleaner. Here's my pipe cleaner. Just a bit like that. And you fiddle it in. Again, this is fidgety. Doing fiddly things today. You poke it in there so you can see it coming out there. Then you have to hold, find the bit and then poke it up through the other slit that you did. So like that. Now this is a bit tricky. If you think you need help or you want to pause, just press pause so you have enough time. See that? And then it comes out and then you can just twist them together. I twisted mine. There, so they don't fall out. I mean, mine are a bit short now, but that's all right. doesn't matter. These are a bit longer, the ones on my first one. See that? They're a bit longer. There, so we fiddled them through. Those are our feelers. And then, what should we do next? So our caterpillar can see. Yes, let's draw some eyes. Now you can do your eyes whatever way you want. You might just want to do two googly eyes if you want to. If you've got a matching pair. I'm not sure I do. Oh, I do actually. So I could use these two. Like that. Or you can draw your own. So with this one, can you see? First I drew my own. And then I stuck on some, I stuck on some googly eyes afterwards. Hello. If you like that sort of thing, then you can do that. I might, for this one, just stick on two googly eyes. I've got my runny glue. For googly eyes, I quite like, like using runny glue, but you can, of course, use your glue stick. Whatever you have to hand. There. And stick my eyes on. Yeah, the paint might still be a little bit wet, so we have to be careful, but I know how careful you all are. So there, now he can see. Yeah, stuck them on. And I'm going to give mine a happy face. Mine's a really happy caterpillar. Is yours? Ah, mine's smiling and it's even got rosy cheekies. I love rosy cheekies. Look. There he is, isn't he happy? Ah. And now you can just decorate your caterpillars however you want to. Let me show you this one again. Look, I stuck on I stuck on some sequins and just one shiny big sequin here. This one and a bit a button. This one's just a blob of oh no, this one is actually a rolled up pipe cleaner. Some sequins here and a bit of tissue paper somewhere as well. There's some tissue paper. But you know, pom poms might look really good if you have some. Or you just maybe want to colour him later. Maybe you just maybe you don't, don't want to stick things on. I wanted to make mine really nice and sparkly. So look, I'm just putting on lots of glue. I'm just putting a dab of of runny glue. That's it. See that all over, and then what I can do, I can just pick up some sequins and just sprinkle it there. A bit like decorating a biscuit. See? And then I'll do with the pipe cleaner. So I'll show you if you want to do that. You can just take a little bit of a pipe cleaner and just roll it round your finger like that. And then you push it flat and you can stick that on. That's a nice little squiggle, isn't it? Yeah, you can do all sorts. And this is the thing. It's your caterpillar. You make it look amazing just the way you want it to. Perfect. It's coming along nicely. I'm pleased with it. Are you pleased with yours? I do like using buttons too. So I'm going to stick on another button. And the rest I'll cover in sequins. And then... I've got two caterpillar friends. Oh. oh, it's just brilliant, isn't it? And I will definitely take it out into the garden and take some pictures in the grass with it to show you. I will show all of you. I'm going to do, I've got a bit of, of a pipe cleaner left over, so I'm doing another little squiggle to stick it on. And that's it. My caterpillar's finished. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually, on the, on the pipe cleaners, on his little feelers, 
if you have any beads let me just see if i have you could you could string on some beads through here i mean i've got a button with a thing just thinking you could probably if you have a button like this with a with a loop on it you could even thread through a little button like this or like i've done on this one you could do some beads if you wanted to quite pretty isn't it oh and look this one's even got some eyelashes this is a nice thing you can just keep going and going making it better and better and better you might want to draw beautiful eyelashes if your if your caterpillar is a girl caterpillar like i think my one is so i might because this one's so funky it's got all the colors now hasn't it and sparkle and glitter and everything i'm going to give her red eyelashes oh beautiful you could even think of a name for your caterpillar i might call mine katie katie the caterpillar there look hello i'm katie the caterpillar i'm so hungry i'm looking for some leaves yeah so well done those are mine and i can't wait to see yours you can even then take them for a little walk aren't you there Whee! and i'll tell you what i'll show you something else because we're talking about caterpillars i thought i must show you something that i did another time when i was doing something with recycling because you know i always like to make things out of old things i always go to the recycling box and i think oh what could i make today and that time when i made this i saw lots of empty yogurt pots and i thought what could i possibly make turns out i made a caterpillar and because we're making caterpillars today i thought i must show you because look this is obviously the very hungry caterpillar, isn't it? I tried to do the same colours. And look, it lights up. Now, you can't see this very well, I'm sure, because it's obviously not dark, but it lights up. It's got a little light. So I put some lights in. So this is something that you might also want to do one day. If you really like the caterpillar theme, you could even do that one day, couldn't you? What do you think? Hello. So maybe I could put pictures up of this on our on our show gallery as well see the, the lights are popping out so there i wanted to show you that brilliant well done everyone here we are shall we all hold up our caterpillars after three okay pick them up if they're not too wet if they're really if the paint is really wet they may be not but i just really want to show you mine and i can't wait to see yours so here we are here is Katie the caterpillar. And I might, in fact, let's just quickly do that. I'm going to give her a little label. And you could do that too. So I'm just going to cut a bit of old paper that I've got here anyway, left over from when I was drawing the eyes. I'm just going to get a pen and write her name on it. K A T E E. Katie, there, and then I can put her on display and everybody can see my beautiful caterpillar and I'll feel really proud and so should you. Well done, everybody. Give yourselves a huge pat on the back. Say, well done me today. Well done you. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks for coming to Planet Art where we reuse old things and we reimagine new things with them and we make the most wonderful things out of recycled materials, don't we? Well done, everybody. Can't wait to see you next time. Have a lovely rest of the day. Bye. Bye. Join us on our mission of discovery. Outside our window, there's a million stars and more. Planets, moons, asteroids for us to explore. If we're lucky now and then, we get to meet some aliens.